Hello, 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 everyone. God bless you. I am Prophet Dr. Dana Reese, the Eagle Prophet Visionary, and I want to thank you for watching this video, and I want to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will receive notifications of future prophetic words that I will be releasing. Um, I try to release at least at least one prophetic word every week. And so I want to thank those of you who have subscribed. I want to thank those of you for your kind comments, for your kind words, and for the seeds that you have sown. And I decree and declare blessings upon you in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And so God has given me a prophetic word to share with you. And this is the hour, this is the time, this is the season. It's a Cairo season where God is moving suddenly. He's moving quickly. Um, he's moving um, precisely and strategically. And you know, the word of God said in Amos 3, 7, that God does nothing without first revealing his plan, his counsel unto his servants, the prophets. And in Ecclesiastes chapter three, the word of God says there is a time for every season, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to um, gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for build. The time that we're in, the season that we're in right now is a laughing season. It's a dancing season. This is a season of growth, a season to build, a season to progress, a season to advance. It's a season in which God is releasing. He, he's releasing, he's releasing even overdue harvest. He's re releasing things that have been pending. He's, he's releasing answers to your prayers. He's releasing your harvest. He's releasing divine ideas, divine strategies. He's releasing divine keys to create your wealth. And you know, the word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter eight, that God gives you the power to create wealth. So the power to create wealth is within you. And God is releasing divine strategies in this hour in Jesus name, in Jesus name. And so this is a season of release. This is a season in which God is literally opening the windows of heaven and pouring down to you. How many of you have seen a pinata? It's like a Mexican um, um, thing that, that Mexican children do. It, it's made out of paper mache. It's usually in the shape of an animal or, or some kind of, you know, pretty design. And so the children, the pinata will be hanging from the ceiling and children will take a stick and they'll hit that pinata until it opens up, till it busts. And when it opens up, it releases candy. It releases gifts. It releases all kinds of goodies. And then the children just go and grab the goodies and the gifts and the blessings. Well, that's what God is doing in this season. He is releasing gifts. He's releasing overdue harvest. He's releasing answers to prayer to, to his, his children. And this is a season of divine release. And so God gave me a very specific word for you that I want to share with you. And he said, this is the season of divine release open doors. And so God said that divine do open the divine doors are going to open suddenly and and these divine doors are going to be time sensitive and it's going to be your responsibility to walk through the door when God says to walk through it 
and on the other side of the divine door will be great blessings, great breakthroughs, great manifestations in Jesus' name. And so God told me to tell you now is the time to walk through those doors. God told me to tell you that he is giving you permission right now in this Kairos hour to walk through the doors, to pursue the opportunities, to pursue your dreams, to pursue your visions. Uh, this is the time to, to just go for it. This is the time to seize the moment. And there's a term called, car, called carpe diem, and it's a Latin term that means seize the moment. And so God says now is the time to walk through the open door. Now is the time to pursue your dream. Now is the time to make that purchase. Now is the time to launch that, that, that new business. Now is the time to launch that idea because we are in a building season. And so Kairos is defined as a, as a propitious moment for decision or action. It's a time when conditions are right for the accomplishment of a crucial action. It's an opportune and decisive moment. So we're in an hour to be decisive. We're in an hour to be opportunity-minded. We're in an hour to just go for it. And so uh, I'm thinking of that Nike slogan a few years ago. The slogan was just do it. This is the time to just do it, to just go for it. And so the, the Greeks had two words for time. One was chronos, the other was kairos. Chronos was a sequential time, like an hour and a minute, whereas kairos signified something deeper. Kairos meant that now is the proper time or the opportune time for action. So you are in a season for action. And so God is going to, um, to release divine open doors, divine opportunities, divine moments for you to act, for you to, um, to move, for you to position yourself to receive your divine harvest. So this is the hour to position and prepare yourself in Jesus name. So you must view time as opportunities and you must seize divine opportunities in this hour. You need to allow the Holy Spirit to step in and rearrange your schedule when necessary. And Ephesians 5 16 says, look carefully how you walk not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of time because the days are evil. And so when we look in the Bible, we see that Kairos moments accompanied miracles. So we're not only in a Kairos season. We're not only in a release season. We're not only in a divine open door season. We are in a miracle season. And we see, what's in it? You may say, Prophet Dana, well, what's an example of a Kairos moment? The woman with the issue of blood in Luke 8, 43 through 48, is a prime and perfect example of a Kairos moment. And so we see in this passage that this particular woman had been suffering with an issue of blood for many years. And when she found out that Jesus was coming to town, she made a decision that she was going to get to town and she was going to crawl through that crowd and she was going to get to Jesus because she knew if she could just get to Jesus and touch the hem of his garment that she would receive her miracle in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And so we look, we see... In Luke chapter 8, verse 43, that as Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? 
Jesus asked. And um, Peter said, well, well, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. And Jesus said, someone touched me because I know that the power has gone out from me. And so then the woman came trembling before him and she, she said, I touched you and I was instantly healed. And Jesus said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. So in this hour, in this season, I prophesy, decree, and declare that God is releasing divine moments. God is releasing divine opportunities. God is bringing you to divine open doors. And so it's critical that you stay in prayer, that you stay focused on the Holy Spirit, that you stay sensitive to his voice so you will not miss your moment to go through that door to receive your miracle and to receive your manifestation in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. So in this hour, God is taking you out of the painful seasons of the past, and those seasons were necessary for your process, but, but, but you've already made the shift. You're already in your new season. Now is the hour where God is uh, shifting you into a position of greatness destiny and purpose so those who are surrendered submitted and obedient are the ones who will rise in this hour this is your reward season god is leading you to a new land a new place new relationships and so it's time to to be forward focused don't look at the doors behind you look ahead and keep moving because those doors that shut behind you were too small to contain your future. It's now time to move into your future. So this is a season to stretch. This is a season to grow. This is a season to shift your mindset in Jesus' name. This is a season to be attentive to divine instructions. And so God just brought to my spirit, Jeremiah 40, verse 4. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we thank you, God. We praise you. And I want to share this scripture with you. Um, the Word of God says in Jeremiah 40, verse 4, But today I am freeing you from the chains on your wrist. Come with me to Babylon if you like, and I will look after you. But if you do not want to, then don't come. Look, the whole country lies before you. Go wherever you please. And see, this is your freedom season. This is your season to move out. This is your season to launch out. This is your season to advance. This is your season to pursue your dreams don't miss this season this you can't you can't look back into egypt this is the season to cross over the jordan and move into canaan this is a building season so so i want you to discern and understand the season that you're in this is a season to pursue your vision and we're not even halfway through the year yet. We're in the fifth month. And May is the month of God's grace, goodness, and favor. So it's time to, to come into alignment with the Holy Spirit. It's time to get focused. It's time to launch that dream, launch that vision, and position yourself to walk through divine doors of opportunity so i want to ask you to sow into this anointing if you need coaching if you need a strategy or prayer call sow a seed of 95 dollars and i will give you an hour session of my time the other levels that i want to ask you to sow is either 64 dollars or 32 dollars go to prophet dana reese on PayPal or Prophet Dana Reese on Cash App and sow your divine open door seed. I love you with the love of Jesus and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.